My name's Ryan Smith, I'm also known as The Scientist, and I work at No Regrets in Exeter. I've just been guesting for a couple of days in the Design for Life studio in Liverpool. I've been tattooing for nearly four years now. I was a music producer and a DJ before this, but tattooing's what I always wanted to do. So I used to work away with the music and eventually got given an opportunity to learn how to tattoo and um, took it with both hands and ran with it. I've always been interested in art ever since I was a little boy and my dad often tells me stories of me drawing Mr Tickle from the Mr Men on the walls at the age of three, with much to his displeasure, but for as long as I I've, uh, can remember I've been into my artwork at school, at college and everything. Inspiration wise, I literally get my inspiration from everywhere, movies, films, comics, but generally also just life, just walking around living life you can see there's so much to be gained from what you can see in your surroundings you know symmetry formations anything really it's all about looking outside of not just tattoos but just looking at you know nature and life so much to see there's many artists that inspire me really uh, through my career probably too many to name some of the top American guys I really uh, enjoy watching their artwork and like, like to look at is uh, Phil Garcia Roman Abrego, uh, Rich Pineda, but also there's so many European guys as well. I mean, there's just so much talent around nowadays. Um, in Europe as well, for me, I find the uh, styles are, can be a little bit more innovative as such. I think sometimes some of the other markets are a little bit closed, but in Europe we seem to be a little bit more out there, I think, perhaps, in our style and the way we innovate and do things. But yeah, there's just, there's just too many artists, I think, to, to name as my favourites. I like all sorts of artwork, really. I like sculptures. I'm really into oil painting, especially the sort of Renaissance period stuff. But I'm also a big fan of the avant-garde and abstract styles as well. I think the last museum I visited was Van Gogh's Museum in Arle in France, which was last summer. I went there. That was, that was a really big eye-opener, that one. There's a really good gallery. There's some interesting stuff going on there. I think the best way to describe my style is probably ornamental. I have a lot of um, very tight, ornate, detailed pattern work and line work within my style. I just try to innovate all the time, just try and create something new, something fresh for people. I think certainly in the last year my top highlights have to be winning Best of Show in Milan, doing a collaboration with my good friend Jay Freestyle. A couple of weekends ago I won the Best of Show at the London Tattoo Collective and uh, winning the award at the London Tattoo Convention in September was pretty big as well. I never stop working really, just focus and work hard. I think uh, for new trends and styles within the scene we're going to see a lot of stuff coming up over the next few years. I think collaboration is going to be a big part of the, our scene, um, something I will certainly getting heavily involved in setting up a big collaboration project later on this year called the Chaos Theory. It's a collaboration project which uh, brings together six artists over one week and every artist is going to be a different style to one another. Um, they're going to be collaborating with each other and uh, just creating some real new innovative fresh artwork for people. I've got many things coming up with the studio I'm working with, no regrets, we're opening a new studio in London. So it's, uh, it's a really interesting time for us. Advice I would give to anyone new coming into the tattoo scene, um, let your mind take you somewhere. It's all about being creative. You've got to be prepared if you want to do really well. You're going to have to make some sacrifices in your life to be able to get forwards, to be able to learn, to get better. But I would just say every opportunity you get to learn, do it. Coming up with my style was a, a development process really. I was doing a lot of dot work at the time, a lot of smaller pieces, a lot of gap filling on people. And, started looking at layering the dot work up, trying to make things look a bit more 3D, like things were staggered and on top of each other. Um, that's kind of the development process for it, how I came about with the style. 
I really like my tattoos to um, adhere to the body's own natural flow and shape. Um, when I'm composing my pieces, I really like the designs to actually sit on the body well, so they shape with the muscle's own tones and the body's own, uh, own natural flow lines. I think the minute you start worrying about this in a design, instead of just doing a design and sticking it on someone's body, as soon as you start worrying about how it actually sits on the body, I think it's the minute you turn a good tattoo into an amazing tattoo.